Right here is one of the coolest all-time boats, an 18-foot Nautico. This is a catamaran. Oh, what the heck do we got going on here? Hi, friends, and welcome to another project boat. What we're going to be doing to this thing... What? In this video, we're going to take the floor out, get started on stringers and a new floor. If you want to know how to do a floor in stringers, well, then this might be the video for you. So Austin got this boat and wanted to do a forward seating, a forward controls, forward console. And he had a tube, a rigging tube put in the boat. Part of the floor was cut out. Rigging tube was installed and then re-glassed over. And there's been this cracking noise constantly, which is basically the fiberglass separating from the wood but then like re-sticking after an hour or two or not being walked on. So it's constantly crackling. Also, this boat, when it was built, was built with wood. Um, this was the last year that they made these in Mexico. And from what I've been told, um, basically the wood isn't completely laminated or protected. So we're about to cut into this. We're gonna see what we've got to work with. I'm gonna suit up, turn on the fan and get to cutting. All right, well, I've got an access panel cut so we can at least start looking. This is what we've got. So you can see where basically this was screwed from underneath um, this entire old, basically as a lip so that the new panel could be bolted or uh, screwed in, glassed over all just obviously raw wood um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say if you notice I've got my bulkhead marks how did I find out where the bulkheads are on this boat well what I did is I got this screwdriver and listen to how hollow So about right here is going to be a bulkhead. So I just did this. It just gives me a reference point um, so that I could do these inspection holes and not be cutting into bulkheads. Bulkhead, look inside, bulkhead. So what we've got is raw wood and just barely glassed in. It's just tabbed in with a couple layers of mat. Well, so the floor is free floating across these. It's probably just glassed in, honestly, up here on the edge, tabbed in, um, and just wrapped up the sides. So I pretty much feel like this entire floor would lift out if a big chunk is cut. So I've got the panel cut off the other side and this is what we got. So <laughs> across the top of the bulkhead is basically these pieces of wood are um, attached. I don't even, it's just floating there. Um, and then you can see where they screwed down the floor and then laminated over the screws, which is a normal practice for a lot of people. Um, looking in here, what I really wanted to see was what was between the tunnel and the floor. You can see that they basically just sandwich a piece of uh, plywood in there. Don't even, actually, it's not plywood, it's just board, just like this. This is like an actual board. So what I'm gonna do now is just set the saw blade. I'm gonna buzz across. Moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh gosh. So a lot of that cracking sound. Man, look at that, it's coming right off.
Here's something too, look at the floor here. So there's a seam going down the middle where they just bond two separate pieces of, they're not even bonded, they're actually just glass on top. And these are just spacers that literally are stuck in with some bonding putty. Can you see how wet? So look at the difference between the two sides. Look at all the, see the water there? That's just water, dude. This piece too feels completely wet, um, which I can see it just backing up. This whole side, even in here, this wood is wet. It's not rotted. But basically they just use those pieces of wood. Yeah, no, come out. Oh God, they're not even big pieces. So this hole, the sides will feel strong, but then the center just is, is a weak point. You know, and like, I'm looking here, I can see where there's screw holes that have been filled and fared. So for a boat that's 25 years old, um, it's actually not so bad. Uh, you know, I bet all of this wood would be totally fine if there weren't holes drilled into the deck. You know, here, 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 here. You can see where Austin has filled them. Anytime you screw holes into the deck of a boat, just assume you're gonna have water intrusion. Um, you know, water will, water's patient, it's got time. And if it rains and your boat gets wet and you wash it down, it's just slowly over time saturating with water and you end up water soaked like this is. Let's see where this is delaminating pretty easily, just where it's not even. So once, You've got the screw holes that water that can then get in between the laminate and the wood. And then that's it. It starts to delaminate and you've got water damage. So, yeah, kind of what was expected. Let's keep plugging away. Oh yeah, so I haven't introduced Austin yet. <laughs> this is Austin. What's up? <laughs> He's the madman who has conceived this wild child of a skiff, of a boat. Um, One I've of talked... a kind to say the least. Yeah. Probably definitely. the only boat 18 foot that has autopilot in it, you know. A lot of uh, the purposes that Austin's built this boat for, which is basically to do everything from um, taking it out of the ocean, wahoo fishing, Throwing a cast net, running the freshwater creeks and levees. Oh, maybe even gator wrestling or some shit. Bully netting? Bully netting, yeah. Diving. Bahamas expeditions. Yes. Big camping tent area. Oh man, it's, the possibilities rod are endless. Rod holder here, rod holder there. Yeah, oh, they sell the rod holders because I don't have any. So you made up for it. So what we're doing is we're doing a, a little progress check coming up with... Um, the next phase since we weren't sure what we were getting into yet um, with the bulkheads. This quality tabbing in, which I already showed some video of, but um, what we're going to, the decision, right? 
The decision is to a go no -brainer with decision. a no-brainer decision is to replace all of these bulkheads um, with the Vinicel core material, glassed in, epoxy, you know, do it once, do it right. And then last but not least, you guys already saw all the, the three 55 gallon drums of foam that was taken out of this boat. But so this is a comparable piece to what the bulkheads will be made out of. So we're going to be lighter weight. We're going to be gaining flotation through um, using a Divinacel core material um, for the bulkheads. And then also underneath here, hop in there and show, show us the flex. So underneath there, my pretty toes. I'll show you under the boat. You can see there's a hollow void. There's a hollow bit underneath. So structurally the sides, if Austin steps on the sides, it's super strong. And that's just like two laminations or one lamination to just seal off so that water can't get in there. But we're gonna cut a couple access holes and then do an expanding foam in the center, which will then give it a little more rigidity as well um, and flotation. That way, Austin's gonna have a nice, clean, truly functional bilge that, um, is clean and you don't worry about water saturated foam. It's gonna be lighter weight and any water that could get in, which I don't even imagine how it could get in, will flow straight to the back. Well, friends, that concludes part one. Join us for part two as we go through the building process. FGCI has hooked it up with some great materials. I'm gonna show you guys how to template the bulkheads, floors, laminate them all. We're gonna go through the fairing process and finish this boat out. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. All of your channel love is greatly appreciated. You guys are the best. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I will see you soon.